Hello there, time for another celebrity makeup bag and this one is from The Land Down Under. Miranda Kerr has been a style and makeup icon of mine for many years. I love her simple street style and the fresh faced makeup look she's famous for. Minimal sophisticated makeup seems to be something Miranda and the fabulous makeup artists she works with create most often. There might be a pop of colour or a bold lip, but her skin is always healthy, glowy and dewy. So these are one of my favourite Aussies, favourite products. Many of you might have seen the great Vogue video where Miranda talks you through the products she used on her wedding day. So I've gathered some of those items from my own makeup bag and other makeup and skincare products she's specifically mentioned in other interviews. All source articles are linked down below as usual. I've also included a few dupes of similar items too. As much as I'd love to go out and buy a bunch of new makeup every time I film one of these, it's better for my wallet and hopefully more helpful for you if I review products I genuinely use, not just things I bought five minutes ago for the sake of filming them. So let's get cracking. Amongst other face products, Miranda uses the tinted day cream from her beauty company, Cora Organics. It's one shade fits all and it's almost a funny grayish color. So a little bit goes a long way on me. I just mix a tiny bit in with my moisturizer in summer when I have a bit more color on my face. Her favorite concealer is the RMS Beauty Uncover Up, but unfortunately their shade range is slightly too yellow for my pink toned skin. So I use Glossier Stretch Concealer instead in medium. I suspect these two products have quite a similar effect. Super light coverage with a dewy, skin-like, seamless finish. Great for good skin days, but less staying power when it comes to covering spots. Miranda says she's obsessed with Glossier Boy Brow, and so am I. This is my favorite brow tamer to add a bit of tint and keep your brows in place all day without feeling stiff or crunchy. Looks like she uses the shade brown, and so do I. I have Miranda to thank for introducing me to RMS Beauty about seven years ago. I'm such a huge fan of this brand and she is too. Miranda and RMS's creator, Rosemary Swift, are actually such good friends that they even share a dog, Miranda's little Yorkshire Terrier, Frankie. Miranda's been a long-term fan of their famous Living Luminizer, a gorgeous, glowy, lit from within cream highlighter. Warm up this all natural, sheer, pearlescent product with your fingers, then dab it onto the high points of the face for that supermodel glow. Miranda now has a similar rose quartz luminizer from Cora Organics actually, which I'm interested to try out. RMS Lip to Cheek in Beloved is a cream product she likes for daytime use. The balm-like texture in a bright poppy red can be layered or worn as a light wash of color. Diabolique from the same formula is a vampy shade she wore to the Met Ball in 2013 when Rosemary Swift did her makeup. A rich dark berry that can be dabbed lightly onto lips or cheeks as a stain or built up to recreate Kerr's look. Finally, Smile is a shade that I have as part of the Mod Collection RMS Signature Set. She mentioned this peachy orange many years ago and said she loves the formula because it does your lips and cheeks in one go. The blush Miranda wore on her wedding day is the beautiful baby pink La Prairie Cellular Cream Blush in Rose Glow. But I'm not quite there yet. You have to draw the line somewhere and mine's a few miles back from a $90 blush. <laughs> Maybe one day. A little tip is that Miranda swirls a bit of blush over her eyelids to tie in the color all over her face. It's one of my favorite tricks as well. She wore the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color in Golden Peach on her wedding day. Definitely on my wish list, but I've found a few similar tones in my collection for now. The Chanel Stilo Eyeshadow in Laurier Rose is one of my all time favorite shimmery pink shadows. It's a lovely cooling cream formula that blends beautifully. The shade Rose Petal is an opaque pink option for a slightly more subtle look. L'Oreal Eye Paints are one of my favorite drugstore shadows and the shade Irresistible Rose is an ideal baby pink. Blends really nicely, not too shimmery, and it stays all day. Otherwise, the Burberry Eye Color Cream in Pink Heather is a favorite for a slightly smoky look that adds a natural looking pink tint to your lids. For those fluttery lashes, Miranda uses the Lancome Hypnose Doll Lashes Mascara. I've had Hypnose Star for quite a while and like how the two different sides to the brush help you add length and volume in a very natural, low key way. But I suspect you get a lot more volume from the Doll Lashes version, which is what I always look for in a mascara. Miranda loves lining her lips with Laura Mercier Baby Lips, but that shade is so popular it was sold out in three Australian cities I visited recently. So these are two I use for a natural your lips but better look. Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. It's a classic, isn't it? I'm sure lots of you have this or the lipstick in your makeup bag. An easy dusty pink that looks great under many nude lipsticks or worn alone. The Chanel Precision Lip Definer in 34 Natural is another cult favorite that many models name drop. This is more of a peachy nude if you're less keen on really pink lips. Next, the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balms, a magic color changing formula that looks slightly different on everyone. Miranda uses the standard pink shade for a baby blush lip, but I also really like coral for something a bit warmer and more summery. 
I find these fairly sticky and just a bit of fun, not something I treat as an actual hydrating lip balm. Onto the lipsticks. Miranda mixed two Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution shades on her wedding day. Amazing Grace, a bold, strong pink, and Walk of Shame, one of my favorite burnt rich berry reds. You only need a touch of this to make your lips look more full or build it up to be a great brownie red. Also had to include the hot lip shade Miranda May in here, which Charlotte designed with Miranda in mind. This is a seriously bright coral pink. Pretty unusual for me, but I got sucked in by the idea of having lips that look like Miranda Kerr, okay? I prefer to dab on just a bit and rub it in with my finger so it's not too intense. Miranda loves a red lip. She says, if I'm tired or I've been traveling, a red lip is an easy way to brighten the face. Roger that. She uses the Chanel shade Rebel, which is such a nice bright tomato red, but because it's the Rouge Coco Shine formula, it's like a hybrid between a lipstick and a balm. Super sheer and very wearable. To help maintain her gorgeous glowing skin, Miranda uses her Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Oil morning and night. Noni is an ingredient in all of her products. She talks about it a lot, but it's not something I know much about other than that it doesn't smell very nice. But I grabbed this trial size of the oil and have found it very nourishing and glowy on the skin. Her Cora Organics Enriched Body Lotion is something I've had for quite a while. It's a medium thickness formula with a bit of a herbal all natural smell, but it does leave your skin feeling soft and supple. And finally, to keep her lovely locks in check, she uses Chlorane, a French pharmacy favorite and the best dry shampoo I've ever used. She says, the only other thing I do to my hair is use Chlorane dry shampoo, nothing else. Took the words right out of my mouth, Miranda. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked having a closer look at some of the marvelous Miranda Kerr's favorite products. Please let me know if you use any of these or have them on your wish list. I'll leave some related videos down below so you can watch this makeup in action on Miranda's own ridiculously good looking face. See you next time.